Well, good morning, everybody. It is five forty-six in the a.m. Early morning. Got the. Uh, was there when I go to bed? I got a little bit of sleep. I don't remember when I went to bed, but I think I got like five hours. That is pretty good. Making some hard boiled egg, uh, egg sandwich for breakfast. Pretty cold. It is 31 degrees out. Freezing fog. Gulichi town. Yeah, it's pretty foggy. That's pretty cool. It's cold out. Got that diesel heater going. Tap that up just a little bit. Foggy morning. Let's get these windows dried out. Ultra cold morning this morning. Dried out. Let's get going. Very good. Gas is uh, coming down a little bit. 
ever so slightly. for the mid grade. We're at uh, 329 for regular. Coming back here to my little stomping grounds here where we got a street that I could stay on usually, but it's all packed. So, we're gonna head over here to the Walmart where I see a few RVers parking. That street had like three permanent residents and then like a few rotating residences. Now there's, now it's all full with permanent residents. And I don't stay too long so I can't really uh, hunker down and grab me a spot. But Walmart works just fine. I got a class A over there. Oh boy, we got quite a few. Take a take a little drive around. Let's go check out these RVs before I park it. A classy Tioga looking deal there. This works out better actually because that street is horribly unlevel. So Camper trailer. Oh, maybe we should just go over here. I got a Four Winds camper, Four Winds Classic, with a nice Ram there. Dodge. Got a, a Searcher Class C. Pretty cool. Bounder, good old Bounder. Very nice, very nice. How about this one? Uh, a weaker? Strange word. Alright, looks like home. Let's, uh, let's get a little toward the back here. Call good. There we go, I like this spot. Right next to the trees. I usually try and park next to an island. Okay, let's look around, make sure I fit okay here. Looking good, looking good. Patches has about mm, a whole foot of clearance to fit in these sp spaces with that generator on the back. Ooh, she's kind of cute. And give me some nice clothes to start hitting on the ladies. Get lonely up in here. Think about it sometimes. I'm just, uh, I'm a little more used to being alone. I'm not a big relationship guy. One of these days, I'm gonna meet somebody. 
I get up the motivation to get a little more work done in this RV. You got the fancy lighting. It's not uh, looking pretty spit. Gotta get it. Gotta spiff it up in here. Spiff it up. Maybe get a like one of those smelly things that you plug in. Solar is actually bringing in two and a half amps. Topping off the batteries. Let's go get that generator started. Because we are on the generator team. Team generator. started right up. They're actually probably about half a pole. Still running good. Tire stump. Stemmy! See if I can pull the Schrader valve out of this. Or is it trash? Man, they might have a good Schrader valve on there. Yay. Free Schrader valve, boys. All right, Jenny's up, up and going. Get the PC going, let's get the heat going. Holy crap, it's cold in here right now. Diesel heater, generator, lots of power. It's time to get the, yeah, things to do. And uh, I'm gonna stay here a little while. Let's see how long, probably not too long, so I get uh, paid soon and I need to, well, food's right there. I need to go get tags, so I won't be able to stay here too long. Yeah, we'll see. We'll update you guys as we go. I forgot to get diesel. That's all right. I think we still got one more night left in that can, and I do believe, uh, yeah, we got a gas station behind us here, so sweet. So walk over and get it. Walk over, get some diesel. Wow, I just had a flashback to North Base when I was walking over and getting gas for the big Jenny when I when that was the only generator I had. That was not a fun time figuring that all out. Walking over, getting five gallons of gas, bringing it back, realizing that's eating it. So it was like thirteen dollars a day. That big old thing. Yeah, that was not a good way to start out. Then my boondocking experience it was felt kind of lost and didn't really know what you know what I was you know I got a big old generator because I thought I'd you know I I knew I'd be using it for tools but then I was like oh crap this thing eats a crap ton of gas just sitting there it doesn't even need a big load on it it's just sucking it down I was like oh no I can't afford to do this okay I guess we're lower on fuel than I thought This one is and make a vent and uh, let's do that and make it so we can switch these around. I could do a little something for a filter so it's not just sucking in whatever. Peace of mind, I guess. I don't know. I go some pretty dusty roads on the uh, go to the ranch.
Okay, let's see how many times I gotta turn this on for that feel the prime. I don't remember. I forget which button do you hold to to uh, get it to continuously pump. But whatever, we'll just do it the hard way. I also don't like the idea of having that continuous pump because I can't, uh, there's no way for me to see when the fuel gets to that. And I don't know what happens when the fuel pumps, you know, if you have the continuous prime option going, I don't know if that keeps pumping until it's like starts building out the exhaust pipe or whatever. So I'll just do it like this. All right, that only took a couple restarts. All right, awesome. That wasn't too bad. That was the uh, first time I've ever ran the diesel heater out of gas. I was wondering what that process would be to get that going again, but uh, not too bad. A couple restarts and we're good to go.